We start with a piece of copper tubing about the same length as the bending fixture. Before we clamp the bending fixture in the vise, we straighten the copper tube in all directions in the vise. Place it, if you see, the copper tube has a narrow side and a wide side. It's a rectangular copper tube. So we place it between these pins here with the wide side facing up. This position needs to be about half the length in the middle or in the middle of the copper tube, approximately. Take a piece of steel and you can press, firmly press to bend it around the pin so it's parallel with the other tube. Now we take it out. In the end of the bending fixture is a notch that's cut out. We put it in here so that the legs are straight or parallel to the sides of this and we bend it at a 45 degree angle. Now we place it between these pins here. Depending on the length of the tip will depend on where we place it in here. So if we're doing it for a smaller, let's say 3 8 inch tip, we'll place it about there and then bend it firmly pressing around those pins. Straighten it with your hands so we have that bend there. Now we put it back in here, push it against the 45 degree angle bend and bend the legs up. Now you have a bent coil. The copper tubing is filled with sand. We pinched one end off prior to bending, filled it with uh, shot glass, shot, shot blast glass, glass bead media, pinched the other end closed so that we could bend it. Now we can put this in here and we can file off the ends. Score the ends real well. Grab a pair of needle nose pliers and pop off the end. We'll do the same thing on the other side and the sand comes out. You can blow it out and then braise it into the inductor holder.